Well, it's the night before the first day of the Escanaba tournament, and not gonna lie, it's been one tough week of practice. I actually went two and a half days uh, during one part of the practice where I never even caught a fish. Um, I guess you know, the good part about that is I eliminated a whole lot of water, and then we finally did stumble onto a couple little pods of fish. But uh, there's, you know, being in Escanaba, it's known for being good to you one day and just kicking your butt the next day. So uh, my fingers are just crossed that some of those fish are still hanging around. Some of them are still hungry. Uh, I got some nice north winds. I think there's a little cold front coming through. No surprise. But, um, you know, we're just going to go fishing and, and hope for the best. And uh, at the end of the day, we'll see what happens. But the, the other good thing about this being such a tough tournament, which I'm assuming it will be, um, is even if you have a tough day one, you are not out of it going into day two. Everybody is still in it because there's this this tournament is known for a lot of flip flopping when people come up to the bays they knock up here. So I don't know. Looking forward to getting this thing started and uh, seeing how everything shapes up. You know, if things work out the way we hope, it actually could be a pretty good deal. So uh, stay tuned, guys, and uh, I'll have updates for you tomorrow. All right, take care. See ya.